Well, it's the dawn of another day. And I'm fast coming to the conclusion that the more that I learn, the less I really know. When I learned how to target tench on this water, all I could catch was carp. And then when I tried to catch the carp, I caught crucian. And now I'm fishing a little swim where I've seen crucian, but all that appears to be in front of me is tench. So I've decided to embrace this newfound loss of knowledge, I guess, and see just how many tench I can catch. The first one I hooked made it under this bow and into a weed bed, but steady pressure soon brought it back to the net. It wasn't a bad start to the day, really. Lovely looking fish, and hopefully a sign of things to come. Now, I'm fishing very, very close in, just to the right of me as we look here. There's a slight depression under this bow, and the fish come in in little groups. And the stop, they don't really shoal, they come through in twos, threes, fours. So it's a case of steady baiting, and then watching and waiting and maggot seems to be doing particularly well, or dead maggot seems to be doing particularly well on this water at the moment. I've tried all sorts of things, sweet corn, pellet, and various other baits, but the standout bait on this day was certainly dead maggot. And then over the top, as always, a very simple lift float arrangement. But patience is a virtue. And occasionally it's rewarded. I didn't have to wait too long for another group of fish to come through and another lovely tench to hit the bank. There is something very special about tench. A stunning looking fish. And then it was back to the watching and waiting game. And hoping as we always do. And then when this fish took, it's a very subtle bite. But as soon as I struck, it took off across the lake and I thought, seeing as I'd changed my mind and decided to target the tench, that meant I was gonna catch carp. And I, for a little while at least, I was convinced this was a carp. But it eventually turned out to be the best tench of the morning. And even though most of the fish are spawned in this lake, this one was still holding some shape, a good depth of body. Beautiful fish. And even though there might have been a chance of one or two more, I decided to quit while I was ahead. Because it's always nice to have something to come back to. And sometimes you can have too much of a good thing.